Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Coinbase reportedly spent $100 million building out an NFT marketplace, and it has been an abject failure. But the company is really changing directions right now, and I think it's worth going over what those changes are and what impact it could have on the NFT marketplace long term. The first thing to look at is what a failure Coinbase NFT was. This is data from Dune Analytics. This is volume from April 20th, which is when Coinbase NFT launched. You can see that OpenSea generated $7.1 billion in trading volume since then. Looks rare, almost $3 billion in trading volume. Coinbase NFT, $7 million. So about one one thousandth of the volume that OpenSea had. You would think that a company like Coinbase could break its way into the NFT marketplace space, but this gets to how powerful marketplaces are and two-sided markets can be. What a marketplace has to do is it has to attract enough buyers to gain a critical mass and then enough sellers to gain critical mass. Once you have both of those things, it's really hard to break the business model. This is why a company like eBay, which has been around for decades at this point and has a pretty poor user experience, still generates a ton of revenue because it has a ton of sellers and it has a ton of buyers that go to it on a regular basis and they're not going anywhere else. The NFT space is much younger, but the same can be said. Buyers that are used to going to OpenSea are simply still gonna go buy there. When you're looking to actually sell an NFT, you wanna find as many buyers as possible. That's why what we've seen on Coinbase NFT is actually, there will be NFTs listed, but they will be higher prices than competing NFT marketplaces. And the question becomes, what do you do if you're Coinbase? Well, they answered that earlier this week. They had a tweet thread here where they highlighted that they're getting into aggregated listings. So what does this mean? This means that Coinbase is gonna be pulling listings from other marketplaces like OpenSea and LooksRare, and they're gonna be showing them on Coinbase NFT. They're not gonna be actually doing the selling, but they're basically gonna line up the buyers and sellers through other marketplaces. So the advantage for Coinbase NFT is that you're going to Coinbase NFT, staying on the Coinbase platform, when you go look for NFTs and you can look on a number of different platforms with while staying on one website. Coinbase isn't gonna generate any revenue from doing this, but they're really trying to move the activity of NFTs towards the Coinbase platform. And that's why this is a detractive option for them. You can see right here in this section, this is the, this is the key to this marketplace move for buyers. This means discovering the best deals across marketplaces and for sellers that's means you're getting more eyes on your nfts with no additional fees another way to think about this is that coinbase is trying to commodify other marketplaces by simply aggregating their listings together and kind of white labeling them we can see this with the board ape yacht club this is the coinbase nft marketplace this is the second least expensive nft so let's click on this one and see what the details are on coinbase nft you can see the features uh, from the metadata here. This is a listing that's pulling from LooksRare. And actually, if you go to OpenSea, there's a listing for this same NFT. It's at a higher price than the LooksRare listing, which I also have here, about five Ethereum cheaper on LooksRare. And Coinbase NFT is just simply gonna spot that for you. If you're a buyer, they're gonna go out and find the best deal for you. So that could potentially be a really interesting move to attract buyers to the NFT marketplace. Like I said, not generating revenue, but now you're pooling together buyers, making an attractive product for them. If you can get enough buyers, sellers may actually start to move to the marketplace as well. The potential attraction for sellers is that Coinbase currently has a 0% fee for using their marketplace. They're obviously gonna generate $0 from being an aggregator as well. So if they keep those fees at zero, that could be a real disruption to OpenSea if they're able to aggregate buyers on the Coinbase marketplace. But really, this is kind of the only option they had left. Coinbase NFT Marketplace is a standalone product, was really a failure in the six months or so that it's been around. So what do you do? You have to shift. Coinbase is really acknowledged with this move that the Coinbase NFT Marketplace was not successful, so they had to do something else. Becoming an aggregator for other marketplaces is a really interesting opportunity. What I'm excited about is what this could mean for the future. What we have seen from Coinbase with recent developments is them trying to abstract away the complexity of cryptocurrencies and NFTs. The wallet that is now built into the Coinbase app is what's called an MPC wallet that takes some of the security, puts it in Coinbase's hands. You keep some of it in your hands, but it's just generally simpler to use than a traditional MetaBask or even Coinbase wallet. 
set up where you have to have the seed phrase and there's all kinds of complexities in using that product. This integrates straight into the app. What's notable though, is when you go to NFTs in the Coinbase wallet within the Coinbase app, you don't really see what blockchain you're on. Right now that app is running Ethereum NFTs, but they could potentially add Solana NFTs, which has become actually much more popular from a volume standpoint than Ethereum. If Coinbase NFT also starts to aggregate other blockchains like Solana, pulling data from Magic Eden, for example, which is the dominant marketplace on Solana NFTs, they could really ab abstract away what's going on behind the scenes from a blockchain perspective and just have one interface within the Coinbase app where you're interacting with not only trading cryptocurrencies, but also trading and owning NFTs. That's the lens with which I think investors should be looking at this move. Becoming an aggregator in a marketplace is maybe not an attractive business in and of itself, but if you look at Coinbase's long-term trajectory, what they're trying to do is make the user experience easier so that they can simply attract all of the users onto the Coinbase app we could look at the Coinbase app as your window into the Web3 ecosystem. That's what I think Coinbase is trying to build. That's why I think this is an interesting move. What I would look for over the next few months is one, are they able to actually attract buyers to use the Coinbase NFT platform as their aggregator? And two, do they expand into other ecosystems, other blockchains like Solana? That could be an interesting point of differentiation for Coinbase, may not be a financial driver for them long-term, but would put a lot of pressure on these other marketplaces and really put Coinbase as the center of the ecosystem and a lot of people's Web3 experience. That's what I think the company is trying to do long-term. I think it's a good strategy and it's another reason that I'm bullish on Coinbase stock. If you like what you saw here, I will be back more with more crypto and Web3 coverage in the future. Please hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time.